everyone, what is up the up guys? Alex here and I'm gonna talk about health today. Overall, I would say I'm a pretty healthy person. Like my physical health on a scale from one to ten is probably an eight. Okay, so I'm the one fat kid that everyone knows. Honestly, I'm the kid who always complains about how he can't run a mile. But I go to martial arts classes, I go for runs once in a while, I say I eat pretty healthily. I'm not saying like, oh, I am the goddess of eating and being healthy. In no way am I saying that. I am not that person. I am not vegan. I And I know it's like the healthier thing or whatever. Um, I'm just not. I live underneath my parents' roof, which means I eat what they want me to. So like, overall, health is probably an eight. Like, Physical health. Mental health and physical health are two totally different things. Physical health could get you, like, taken out of school or, like, not taken out of school, like, oh, you can miss a few days because you broke your arm. Oh, you can miss a few days. I'm not saying, like, breaking your arm is important. It is. Like, oh, you have a cold. You can stay out of school for a little while because your health isn't all that good. But then there's mental health. Um, I've had some mental health issues I've dealt with anxiety and depression and just bad stuff overall um I know other people like have it way worse and like even like where I am in America like people talking about like oh I have like this really bad eating disorder or like I don't know how to escape this sadness um but mental health is just as important as physical health I think because I look at all these people and I'm like, you're coughing, you're sneezing, and everyone's paying attention to you. But there's this girl over here in the corner having a breakdown and no one's talking to her. It just kind of seems like everyone's always focused on like what they can see, because if they can't see it, it's not real. But this person crying is real, I promise, I can touch them. Um. It just kind of seems to me like a lot of people put a lot more focus on to people who are physically unhealth unhealthy, like someone who has a cold or someone who, um, like just isn't okay, like physically, like maybe they sprain their ankle or sprain their wrist or have like broke one of their fingers. Everyone pays attention to like little things like broken fingers. I've never broken any of my fingers, but I know it's like not that important because I've had like a bunch of friends who like broke their fingers. I'm like, oh, how did you do it? And they're like, oh, I just stabbed a bed with my finger. That's not relevant. Relevant? Re relevant? What? I don't know. Help me, please. But like, they're like, well, yeah, but it doesn't hurt that much. It's like fine. All I did was went to like Rite Aid and we got like a little. Th cast for it while there are people literally being sent away to mental institutions because of their depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts and I've known someone who faked cutting faked cutting what is wrong with you okay so Cutting, if you didn't know, is whenever you take a razor blade and you cut open some part of your body, whether that be your thighs or your wrists, it's not okay. Um, I've known someone who self-harmed. I know countless people online who self-harm. And it's so sad. I, uh, I want to help you all. Um, people who feel sad, sometimes they just like can't deal with it in their mind and can't get it down enough so they hurt themselves which I wish that no one had to do to feel like that is acceptable in any way because if you hurt someone else you'd be taken to prison right you would be put into a cell you would be me mentally broke you'd be mentally like helped while people who hurt themselves just are called attention bad word it started with the w i'm not allowed to say that word but it's like 
you put so much focus on all these people who like physically hurt others and then or like are physically hurt and then you like ignore the people who mentally have too much stress on their shoulders maybe they're going through something really hard right now like maybe their parents are getting a divorce that's horrible um my parents are together um but i know so many people who have like divorced parents and i think that's so horrible because i look at my family and then i think wow i'm so lucky to have my mom and dad still together and then i think about all the other people who don't have a mom and dad who are together and i'm so sorry if you don't have a mom and dad who are together i hope everything works out um I hope that things get better for you and for your family. I don't know. I just want to talk about mental health for a minute. Um, I've had a therapist because of suicidal thoughts and anxiety and depression, basic mental illnesses. I, like, okay. So I'm going to talk about it. In fifth grade... I was seriously depressed like I almost didn't want to get out of bed like but I did of course I pushed myself to give myself enough motivation I d tried to be good on my own and then sixth grade rolled around and I felt so much stress I was crying on a daily basis I didn't want to do anything um, my grades were slipping and not and I was getting less sleep not because of my fandoms or anything, it was because of what was going on in my mind. Um, along with being transgender and stuff. So, I would sit there and pretend like everything was fine. And be like, I just want attention. Yeah, I just want attention. Because everything on the media is like, people with... Because like my parents have always told me, like people with mental illnesses who are online a lot, it's just for attention or something that you saw and like just triggered you. So I was like, okay. Just ignore it. It'll go away soon enough. And it didn't. Things got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm still not completely better. Um, This Tuesday, I had a panic attack. And it was really bad. It was my first one in a while. I wanted complete isolation. I didn't want anyone to be asking me, Oh, what's wrong? Oh, Alex, are you okay? I didn't want anyone to talk to me, so I just ran to the nearest bathroom and cried a lot. And, okay, so if you don't have anxiety, which I really hope you don't, because anxiety really sucks, whenever you have a panic attack, you lose all control. Like, you can't control your emotions. You can't control if you can breathe or not. You can't control if you cry or not. You can't control, like, what you do. You can barely like walk so I was like that to the nearest bathroom because I didn't want anyone to see me like this because I was out in public I was with my martial I was in martial arts and I sat there and I cried for I would say about a solid 15 minutes and like I splashed myself with cold water and I was breathing really slowly and I eventually overcame it with the help of this other person from my martial arts studio she's very kind i love her to death she is so nice probably i think that she was the first one there whenever it was my first day and she like helped me get like myself all organized and stuff and it was really nice she's really cool i love her she's like i want to be better friends with you for a child um yeah I'm obviously not better. No one, I think, ever really completely forgets their mental illness. Like, if you have depression, like, you might overcome, like, the big part of it. But then, like, here and there, they might be, like, a little bit more. Like, things that just automatically trigger you. Like, maybe you see someone, like, maybe, like, you see someone's scars. I've never cut. I've never cut, and I'm very proud to say that. 
Um, and that might trigger you and put you into a really depressing mood where you feel like you might be slipping, but then you overcome that. And I'm so proud of people who can do that because I don't think I would ever be able to. Um, and then like people with anxiety, they might have like one really big part and like another really big part with like a tiny bit in between and then like their whole life and then like just tiny bits, which I don't know how you can do, but thank you to whoever first did that and I think that if you're putting up with mental illness right now so many people get over them and you can too if they can then why can't you so just keep your head up keep thinking positive things I I'm not completely better you might not be completely better even if you've had one in the past and you're just kind of slipping now I think that you as an individual can totally do this like you've done it before why can't why not again and feeling depressed or having an anxiety attack is no reason to beat yourself up okay so i had whenever i had my anxiety attack at anxiety panic attack at my martial arts place i hated myself i was like you're supposed to be getting better you're not supposed to feel like this you haven't felt like this in like two months and then my mom yelled at me and she was basically just like you're supposed to be getting better i'm not trying to make my mom sound like a bad person she's a wonderful person and i just kind of broke down and i didn't want to do anything um i feel didn't feel like i had the strength to even live i didn't want to live okay um that's just kind of what having a mental illness is like like i'm not talking about like insanity like what J the joker and harley quinn have i'm talking about like actual things that people put up with and i for a long time thought that this was just my life now i'm gonna feel like this forever and there's gonna be no escaping but i did and it was the best feeling in the entire world so now is your turn if you have a mental illness you don't have to tell anyone about it you can keep it to yourself but i do encourage you to tell someone that you trust like i told people online first because i was scared of the re reaction of people like in my real life and i wanted people to know like online and people who like i was real friends with to know and in case like my parents like screamed at me and told me to stop feeling like this just flat out which they didn't they were very not accepting they were like okay let's just get through this um my dad did yell at me at first but he did try to help and i think it was just kind of scary for him it was scary for me too it was so scary i i felt so small i felt like they were gaming up on me yeah so if you have something to add to this conversation say so in the comments below you don't have to tell anything like oh i've been feeling this certain way for a really long time and i just need to get it off my chest just say it if you want you can dm me everything is a a kit kat a a um it's exactly like my youtube channel just try not to overstress yourself, I guess. Okay. But I said I forgot. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to eat, drink. Don't deprive yourself of any basic needs. Smile. Do all that good stuff. And why I said I forgot. Bye.